I call this video the train ride from hell, which may be an exaggeration, but I didn't feel very comfortable on this ride. The Napoli Centrale station has a reputation for pickpocketing, and in fact, when we arrived in Sorrento, our hotel told us that two of their guests were just pickpocketed at this station where they had their passport and credit card stolen. All right, we're going to take the train to Sorrento from Naples. This train station is a little bit of a different feel than the other ones we've been to. I felt less comfortable as we went into the bowels of the local train station operated by the Cercum Vesaviana Railway. After buying your tickets, count your change carefully to prevent any quote-unquote mistakes by the train station ticket collectors. This station reminded me of a scene out of a movie about the apocalypse. We kept a close eye on our luggage and belongings at the station and on the train. While I don't know Italian, I'm wondering if this train was either built in 1975 or last inspected in 1975. It felt like it was falling apart as it was going what seemed like 100 miles per hour in between stations. It reminded me of the movie Unbreakable, when Bruce Willis was on a runaway train that kept going faster until it crashed. Every station had a lot of graffiti and we stopped at 35 stations. Yes, 35 stations in 70 minutes. Here's a clearer look at the map which lists all the stations, including the Pompeii station. After worrying about pickpockets and dying in a train crash, we finally made it to Sorrento and here's my summary of the ride. So we just took the local train from the Naples train station to Sorrento. It's about an hour and 10 minutes, 35 stops. Let me repeat that, 35 stops. You saw the train station, you saw the train, which I think was built in 1975, if I read it correctly. It, I think it went like 100 miles an hour a few times. It was, didn't feel safe. The places that we stopped didn't feel safe. Now it's only four euros, but if you have the money, I would recommend taking a private uh, driver, which is about 125 euros each way. It's expensive, but I'm actually thinking about doing that on the return trip, I wasn't planning on it. But after this experience of Andy's not so often awesome adventures. <laughs> anyway, we made it to Sorrento, and uh, glad we're here. And in the next few days, we're gonna see the Amalfi Coast, we're gonna see Pompeii, Mount Vesuvius, and the island of Capri.